Yeah, what's up? We back on Alan Wake 2. They just dropped the DLC, the final draft. I'm supposed to add the true ending to the game. And a couple more extra, like, um, I guess, like, lore drops throughout the playthrough. So, we're just going to try and run through it. On I think it's a new game plus. So, I should carry over all my weapons and everything. So, um, I already got all the achievements for the game. Should be able to just run through the story, see what see what they change. Since the last time I streamed this game, I got all the achievements. I went back and replayed. Well, I finished Alan Wake One right before this came out. Um, so I got current with that story. I went back and uh, played Quantum Break. Got all the achievements in that. I went back and played Control. I'm wrapping up the achievements in that, but I I played all the DLCs for the first time. I never played them before. And um, just going through that game, it had a lot more context to playing this game and all the other ones. And vice versa. They all, like, uh, you get the most out of each game if you played all the games. So I recommend going back, you know, and, Exploring them games if you never played them or even if you did just to get refreshed on it Back to the beginning with the memory of the past loop already fading fast But while it lingers, I know there's hope. We're not doomed to repeat our failures in an eternal loop This is a spiral A fictional poet once said, Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. I will not settle for a shadow. I'll find the miracle through the night. It's not just victims and monsters. I see now there are heroes as well. We can find our way through the darkness. We will break through the surface. We will emerge into the light. Okay, so this intro is already different. At least the voiceover is different. Same naked man and all that. Graphics do look good though. Look like they might have improved some of the performance though. But I think the FSR still still look kind of great. These graphics look crazy.
All right, finally I can run. But yeah, as you can see uh, from that intro at the end of the campaign, Alan finds out that he's in a spiral of shit. So this is probably just him. That's why it's called Final Draft. He's going to rewrite the story what he learned at the end of the uh, campaign. That's kind of what he was saying during the intro. Also, so. Kiddo, how are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. These graphics look really good. Oh, the deputy the was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. I think scene. they did improve something. They had There's the car. Too. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. I 
gotta get back used to the controls again. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Oh, you're right over here. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn bits gonna show up, Mulligan? The federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, won't you? I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. <laughs> all right, yeah, so as I said before, before we get to the this scene, is a... Uh... There's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. I forgot what button to press to go to our little mind palace. Anyway, as I said, this is a replay. I already beat the game. I need to think through the facts of the case. Oh, it just won't let me do it. I the mind right place. There. My version of the mind palace technique. So Pacific as I see things, it's going to be spoilers. I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. I'm going to talk about theory the and files and how things connect from all the different games. So if you haven't played this before, I apologize. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. All right, what some people didn't like about this game is this part. <laughs> Doing like the different... uh different mind palaces between the two characters putting the uh, clues on the board and all that but I'm a fan of um I'm a fan of like true crime detective shows and stories things like true detective and all that so it didn't really bother me but I get to the crime scene. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. 
Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm hmm Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. He's you okay to jump down? Nah, These graphics look amazing. Whoa. <gasps> it might have been because I was playing like like I said, I went back and played some older games, but more recently I was just playing uh what is it, Baldur's Gate 3. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. Can't really see this. Not a bad place here. to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, it's called on me. So yeah, I just played Control uh, Definitive Edition or Ultimate Edition, or whatever, with the two DLCs, and it tied directly Hi. into this game. And I didn't know anything about it, like the alarm that goes off in the forest. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Gordon, he's choking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Yeah, I appreciate games where when you run, the, the NPCs run. Found him on the table, and we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Step one, examine the corpse. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here.
Boot prints, indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? So that is for later. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. All right, so now I can add that to the board. Oh, I sure do. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mug. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flip the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. 
a Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. After beating the game, all this makes a hell of a lot more sense than it did at the beginning. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. Oh, did they add the song from Control? Yeah, they did. Casey's favorite brand tastes terrible. I just wish she can level up her guns, but it ain't got none. Family, her her daughter, and then Casey. They dear as Mom, you find these little collectibles. But whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. As you collect these collectibles, you can talk to that dear and they'll tell you how many are left. Yeah, and Saga's mom and dad are real important. The mile at least high dad is. case. Proud of that one. Real important to the to the overall like connected universe story. So I think we good, right? I should have my charms and everything. I'm wondering if this is new game plus. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. I didn't know trees got that big. There's a piece of paper on the ground. It's supposed to be new manuscript pages too. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. 
FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was a page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. He came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. I should profile Nightingale about this page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the Earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You hey, got it. You made it back. Good. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far, murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. 
deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Yeah, I'm kind of worried that I didn't select the right options and this ain't a new game plus. I forgot how to go to the map on here. Hold it down, yeah. Alright, yeah, I need to go to the map. So if I don't, if this is a new game plus on my next screen, here we I'll are. Do that, Let's drive back to town I'll, uh, and meet the sheriff. I'll go back. Start up the new game plus and get back to I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Yeah, it's still kind of shimmery. With the the diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the, the sheriff dark, and our witnesses waiting. The dark areas look coffee. real, real good. I forgot who this guy is. That ain't uh, what's her name, Rose. I need to interview the witness at the diner. Guess how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> Let me guess, the FBI, welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Okay. Now this is another theory linking the games together. Quantum Break, this guy, the actor was the main, was the actor for the main character in Quantum Break. Quantum Break was about like time getting to the end of time, time stopping. Um, some guy who could like, I guess he could just like go through time or some shit. Like he was unaffected by time going through because he went through some cave and ancient times and wound up at the end of time or some shit. I don't know. They didn't. They never made a sequel to it. So I really wanted like some kind of closure on that mystery but we we probably never get it unless uh microsoft buy a remedy or something or give them the rights back but his name in this game is tim breaker now alan wake they had uh the sheriff was called breaker too it was the the main sheriff or the old sheriff and then like his daughter or niece or something took his place during Alan Wake 1 he says he's her cousin during this game I think yeah, his name is Tim Breaker and it kind of sounds like I don't know how true this is somebody pointed this out to me and then it kind of made sense but his name is Tim Breaker it kind of sounds like Quantum Break Quantum Breaker Tim Breaker so I don't know, man. Ten for a hit, but they mention um, we'll get to it later. He's looking. He's gonna. Well, you'll see what happens to him. So something's gonna happen to him. You'll start finding him and uh, with Alan Wake. 
Alan Waite's going to talk to him. He's going to mention, like, feeling like he's in different dreams, waking up in different realities with a different name, but, like, he's still chasing this Mr. Door guy, and he's writing down clues on him like a, like a mind palace board of his own. So... And Quantum Break, he was chasing a similar guy, trying to figure out ways to stop him. Um, I don't know, man. It's all too much of a coincidence not to be connected. Now, what I did notice is they also got this guy, Casey. He was in a... He was a detect, the detective's name in Alan Wake's books in the first game. Obviously, is Sam Lake the same guy who was in charge of Remedy and who was who pretty much was the face model for uh, Max Payne, who was a detective. So they put these characters that are loosely based on like previous games that they don't own the IP for anymore, but they also directly connected to Control because they still own that IP. So. We'll see more connections as nice we go Nice to meet you, Sheriff. Game. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but... You can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had any people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since called the Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgen Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, oh. and then we found a... The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. 
Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. Alright, so the cult in this game, the symbol is triangles. Triangles was a big part. Of, well, triangles and pyramids is a big part of the plot and control. It deals with the, uh, the board is what they call like the, the entities in control of the FBC. But they leave it kind of mysterious and open ended. Waiting for a control sequel, definitely. Um, I liked the game when it came out. I just didn't think it was, you know, like my game of the year. But after connecting all the dots, replaying all the games, I still like Quantum Break the best. But um, the lore behind uh, Control is a lot more interesting. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Jimmy. And I will say that... <clears throat> Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. Rose a funny ass character. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. So yeah, as I was saying, the uh, what I will say about Control is DLC. I didn't play as DLC my first playthrough. I played it when it first came out. The DLC wasn't available. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. And I just uh, I moved on after saw? that. But going we back did. and replaying it told those two with the DLC, it definitely made it a better overall game and more interesting. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. It also made, um... Shit, it made me like Alan Wake better, too. I don't think you ever find anything. I, I, like I said, I just got through playing control, and I can't force it open. there's a lot of items that they hide in bathrooms. Yeah, so I don't have my bolt cutters or my screwdriver. Yeah, so this is one of those deer collectibles I was talking about. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Uh, if you collect all of them, you, you walk up and pet them. And if you collect all of them, oh, hold on, somebody calling me.
all right sorry about that I had an important call I had to take but yeah so you collect all these you pet these deers and then you go back to your mom palace and talk to the lady good to see you the like deer head and it'll uh once you collect them all I think you get Hi. So. I think you get like a um, what is it? A charm that I don't remember what it does. No, I wouldn't count it. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue. If you're ready to go, take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Who else to keep this city clean and... Morning, night? Sheriff! Looks like you have Who some guests! Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. Best not to take a person. One of these was a bookstore or something in the first game. Hey, boss. The corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Hey. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations, yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. All right, somebody calling me again. Hold on.
All right, I'm back again. Disappear, what the fuck? Oh. Chest wound is cause of death. But the corpse is bloated. Waterlogged. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. I need to know more about the Code of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. We found a cauldron lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant. To this case, I have them right here. in 
the stream here. I gotta go anyway, but um, we did about an hour, pretty much. We about to get to, I wanna say like uh, the first main area outside of pretty much, this is just like the intro to the game. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do some research to make sure that this is new game plus and I got all my items and everything so I don't have to relook through those but uh yeah this is the final draft DLC and we'll uh finish it up on the next stream <laughs> 